another video. I am excited to spend today with you and share with you another vlog style video. So as you probably saw from the little clip at the beginning, we were out and about this morning. It's actually afternoon already. I can't believe it. I don't even know where our day went. But we did some errand running. We stopped at a few places. We had to pick up some supplies for Nelson and drop them off at his job site. And now we're home. So I just sat down and had lunch with my munchkins and I thought I would welcome you guys to the video, catch up with you a little bit, tell you what we were doing this morning, and then kind of kick into the rest of the video or whatever we have planned for the day. So anyhow, so we went this morning, we had to do some Amazon returns, we had to stop at Lowe's, we stopped quick at Target, and then we stopped at a kitchen store that is nearby us and that we really enjoy going to. So in Target, I actually not been for a long time, and I actually purposefully <laughs> avoided the dollar section and a lot of the decor section because I am trying to evaluate what I have and get rid of stuff that I, is not my favorite and then if I need more I will get but right now I don't want to be getting any extras for my home so I avoided those sections I went for something super practical and I ended up getting lettuce and clementines um, but I went for these dish cloth sponges I think is what they're called. I mean, it's what the label says. Anyhow, I saw someone share about them on Instagram and I've been needing a couple new dishcloths anyway, so I thought we'd give these a try. They are actually kind of like, they're not super clothy. Um, so we're gonna see if we like them. They're really cute. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, so that's what I went to Target for. And then I thought I'd show you something fun that I got at our local kitchen store and um, it's something that I want to kind of do with my kids and get them into doing kind of as like a chore type thing. This might be a little bit high expectations. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, but what I got, well, let me back up. So first off, I stopped at their tincture section and they carry tinctures from a place called Natural Hope Herbals. They're actually made right here in Pennsylvania. And anytime I'm having like some sort of issue or I want to support my body in a certain way um, I try to find a tincture I really like natural hope herbal so I try to find something by them or from like earthly wellness online so I was really happy to be able to get this one locally um, so I grabbed the tincture first second probably the most important thing I grabbed was this hand turn butter thing if you guys have been around for a little you know we I make our own butter we love our homemade butter um, I've made it in my blender, I've made it in my KitchenAid, but I wanted to try like a butter turner that's not electric or whatever. Um, my KitchenAid, I could have been doing it uh, like wrong, but it takes a really long time. And I was tired of hearing it run for so long. And also with my blender, I wasn't quite getting the texture that I was wanting with my butter. So I'm gonna give this a try. And if nothing else, it's gonna be a great thing or job for my kids to do. Zendaya's already excited about it, which that excitement will probably last about three minutes. Um, but this is a nice big jar. It is the Kilner brand, I believe. That's what it says. Um, I'm pretty sure you could get it on Amazon or something like that or somewhere online, but because I can get it local at a local small store, um, I decided to do that. And then it just has, it looks like a plastic, like a whisk type thing ladle inside. So on the agenda today is making butter um, and then I have some other household chores I want to do, um, laundry and stuff that needs done, you know the typical. And I also possibly want to move a couple things around in the living room, uh, just small stuff. So we'll see if we get to that or not. But I'm just going to start kind of at the top of my list and work down, bring you guys with and hopefully you enjoy. So before I do get started with my long list of things that I want to accomplish, I did want to take a minute to say a big thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video, tell you a little bit about them and I have really enjoyed getting to know them better as a company so I want to share a couple things about them with you guys real quick. 
I first learned about Timu several months ago and since then I have really been intrigued with their platform. Timu is an online marketplace that offers competitively priced products. They remind me a lot of Amazon except the products that they have are priced even more affordable than what you can find on Amazon and they have so many different categories. Timu offers fashion items, home decor, kitchen supplies, pet supplies, almost anything you can imagine you can find on the Timu marketplace. You can find them online at timu.com and they also have a really easy to use app that I like having on my phone. So let me share with you guys a couple things that I have gotten from Timu and been loving around our home. So one of the things that I have been wanting to get is a bathroom mat and with the wide range of products Timu has, I could have picked up so many different items that I've been having on a list for our house for a very budget-friendly, affordable price. This popsicle mold has been my kids' favorites recently, and they've been enjoying all the fun that comes with making homemade popsicles. This vegetable chopper has made my kitchen prep and supper dinner prep so much easier i made fries the other night and the ease and use of this as well as its quality really impressed me and i can't forget the affordable price point as you guys know i love my coffee and on my list of things that i've been looking for have been some cute but affordable things for our espresso machine or to keep in our coffee bar i found these disposable cups as well as these adorable stir spoons and espresso shot glasses on timu.com and a really great thing that timu is doing right now is they have a spring sale going so you definitely want to head over to their website or download their app and check out their spring sale for discounts of up to 90 percent off to find the items that i enjoy in this video you can go down below and use the link to find my favorites and also use my code for an additional 30% off. Timu's milk frother has been my go-to recently when making cold foam for all our coffee drinks and a couple other household products I really have been liking that they have are these smart lights. They come with everything you need to install them. They're very, very affordable compared to other ones out there. I also love having these tea strainers in my kitchen. We drink a lot of hot tea as well. Loose leaf tea is just the best and these work perfectly. I was also able to upgrade some of my kitchen utensils on a friendly budget with the variety of products that Timu offers over on their website. So be sure to click the link down below, use my discount code to be able to score some updated home items for your home at an affordable price. So the first thing that I did because Zendaya was begging me to do this was to get out my cream and to make some butter with her or get her started churning butter in our butter churn. So I took two pints of cream and dumped it into our butter churn. In hindsight, I should have let the cream come up to room temperature and probably just done one pint at a time, but that's okay. You live and learn, right? And she had fun nonetheless. So I dumped the cream in there, kind of showed her how to do it and let her just, I guess, take the wheel with it and do it till she kind of got tired of it or decided that, yeah, she had had enough for now.
Okay, so one of the things that I want to do today, and sorry about the heater in the background, um, but I want to take care of this mess. So this is my kids' book basket, and it's right here by our entertainment center. They love books, absolutely love books, but sometimes they can get a bit out of hand, and as you can see, we're outgrowing our basket. So I want to see if I can put these, well, backstory. Zendaya came home from a friend's house the other day, and she told me, she's like, you should get some shelves for our books like my friend has and i was like okay let me think about this so i actually have some open shelving here in our house our apartment house is um older so it has some of like the built-ins in the back over that way so i'm gonna move this and we're gonna see if we can come up with something cute um but practical for my kids books Here is what I came up with. I was able to keep one shelf on top for just a couple books I like to have out. And then we'll see. If they get into this plant, I'll have to move it. And if they don't, then we'll be good. Um, but all their books are right here and we still have some room for a couple more. And it's right close to their messy toys. But anyhow, um, it's right close to their toys, so hopefully they enjoy it and we'll see how it works for us over the next couple of weeks. So I'm catching up with you guys after taking a bit of a break from filming. I feel like I do this a lot when I vlog just because um, it's a lot to vlog an entire day start to finish every single detail. Um, and today, this afternoon, because this morning was quite stepping, I ended up just taking it easy a little bit after I read their books. Um, I did a couple like laundry things around the house um but anyways i thought i would conclude the vlog with some supper inspo for you guys um our supper is going to be so simple nelson is probably not eating tonight as far as i know he has hockey he doesn't eat before hockey so he won't be eating at least with us he'll eat later um so anyhow what i'm gonna do is i am gonna make like some garlic butter steak bites or garlic butter steak strips or something like that and then i'm going to shred some potatoes and make some hash browns in the oven um so it's gonna be a really simple supper i might get out like peaches or applesauce or some sort of vegetable or something but that's not necessarily decided yet so i don't know if you guys will see that i don't know what will end up adding to it but oftentimes i just add something canned off the shelf that's really easy um since i put away a lot of canned things throughout the summer anyhow so i'm gonna sit and peel my pears it's potatoes i'm gonna sit and peel my potatoes that was a total fail my brain totally shut off on me anyhow i'm gonna peel them got my peeler got my bag for scraps because i don't have a place to compost anyhow and then i'm going to shred these and i will soak them in a bowl of water while i prep the steak and then after that these will go in the oven and then i'll cook the steak so that's gonna be supper it's gonna be simple Hopefully delicious though. So since I'm pretty sure that everybody knows what peeling potatoes looks like, I just decided to skip ahead to this part and I am grating my potatoes for hash browns. This little like gadget that fix fits on the front of my KitchenAid is a lifesaver. I use it for grating cheese in large amounts, for grating potatoes in large amounts, like when I'm making hash browns, anything like that. It really saves you the like manual labor and it's so fast and easy. Thank 
after grating the potatoes, putting them in a bowl, I like to cover them with water and let them sit for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Maybe you should do it more, but this is what I had tonight. So I let them sit covered in water just to take some of the starch out of them. And then I'll strain that water off and kind of dry them with a paper towel before I cook them. So while my potato sat with the water, I moved on to cutting up my steak. And um, if you have chip steak, I would just say use that off the bat. That is so much easier than what I'm doing. But I didn't have chip steak and I wanted to use some of these different cuts of steak up that are a little bit more tough and not quite as tender. So I went ahead and took off all the large fat strips, cut out the bones, any anything like that, I guess. And um, then I just cut it into real thin slices, as thin as I can with like just, you know, me cutting it and it not being like chip steak. Um, and I like this for this type of steak. You could also do like steak bites um, in more like chunks if you don't want like the thin slices like what I'm doing here. I am really flip-flopping around, um, but we're moving back to the potatoes. So I took the water off and then I take a paper towel and try to absorb as much of the water off the potatoes as possible and then I basically the equivalent of sprayed my cookie sheet I used some lard um, but you can use whatever you want something that your potatoes don't stick and then I spread my shredded hash brown potatoes over my cookie sheet and season it with some like seasoned salt regular salt garlic powder whatever you like um, makes really delicious hash browns I got the potatoes in the oven um, as you saw and I'm getting ready to do the steak uh, slowly um, I'm gonna need my this pan thing back there I want to give it some time to heat up and I said I was gonna do like a garlic butter thing on the steak no I'm not feeling that the more I thought about it I'm actually gonna do like a honey ginger soy sauce thing it's gonna be purely to taste so I'm gonna make that sauce back here while I fry the steak up here and hopefully it turns out delicious we'll see um, but I think it's gonna be good I may even put some sesame seeds in it give it like that kind of um, I don't know I don't want to say like Chinese food because it's, it's not Chinese food um, but like that sweet ginger tangy type of flavor so I'm gonna get to work on that and hopefully I can finish up supper shortly here because it's getting kind of late and I want to wrap it up for the evening. I stuck my potatoes in the oven to cook or my hash brown potatoes. I'm really honestly not sure what they're called. We call them hash brown potatoes. Um, and I just normally Google a time or keep my eye on them and cook them at a pretty high temperature. So moving on to the steak, I cook it in a skillet. So I put a little butter in, put my steak in. And then I'm gonna make my sauce on the back burner. So what I do is I add in some honey. This honey is pretty thick because I've had it for a little bit. Um, it is raw honey and it tastes delicious. It's just a little thicker. So I let that soften or you know move into a liquid warm up. And then I added in some coconut aminos, which is basically the equivalent of soy sauce, not quite as salty. So I will be adding in some extra salt. But then after that, sprinkle in some ginger and then of course salt to your liking and that's how i make the sauce so it's four ingredients so simple um and i just taste it and add a little bit more of whatever it needs sometimes it needs more honey sometimes more soy sauce more salt more ginger whatever um and obviously in the meantime i'm cooking my steak here on the front burner so i can combine it and it doesn't take a lot of time and our supper will soon be on the table So very last, 
I topped the steak with some sesame seeds and stirred it all around. This made such a delicious filling supper, but it was so easy. My kids scarfed this up and just like ate and ate and ate. So I definitely recommend this as a quick and easy go-to for supper. I know we really, really enjoy it. to thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I loved sharing my day with you even though it's just bits and pieces here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well and maybe gave you some fun inspo for supper or you know whatever. Give you a glimpse into my life. Anyhow I'm gonna wrap up the vlog because it's getting late and I need to get my kiddos to bed and all that kind of stuff. Um, but thanks again so much for watching. I'll try to leave links to anything I mentioned in the video down below. I'll also leave the links for Timu down there, so do not forget to check them out. Use my discount code to take advantage of that while you can. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week or two or three until I see you get again in a new video. Bye guys.